All right, today we're going to take a look at Photo Booth and how we can use Photo Booth to help us create virtual backgrounds. So the first thing that you want, you're going to want to do is make sure you're either in your photo mode or your video mode. And once you've decided what mode you're in, you will click Effects. There are a number of effects that pop up, but to create your own virtual background, what you'll do is you'll scroll over until you find the page that says user backdrop. Now I've already got a couple in here because I've loaded them for previous videos, but if you want to load your own into a video, what you'll do is just find your file on Google or wherever you want to get it from. Mine happens to be on the desktop, so I will click it and drag it over to user backdrop three. The image of the piano is going to show up there and then I will double click user backdrop three. It says, please step out of frame. Oops, I didn't move quick enough. But now that I've stepped out of frame, we'll try that one again, just so you see exactly what happens. So let me go back to effects, go back to normal, and then effects again, user backdrop three, step out of frame. It's detecting the solid background that I have, my wall or whatever color it is. And now that the background is detected, I pop in and there's my virtual background. Now you want to make sure you have good lighting because if you can see right here, it's kind of covering up that spot to where it's not putting the image in. But if your lighting is good right on front of you and top down, you will have an awesome virtual background. There are also a couple of built in virtual backgrounds that are available in photo booth and you can use those as well. Like sunset. This one's actually a video. Yosemite, another video background, and fish. So just remember, whatever whatever file you want to use for your virtual backgrounds in Photo Booth, you want to have a solid background behind you, solid wall, as well as making sure whatever image that you want to import for your background, you save it where you could access it and drag it into one of the backdrop spots.